Hey guys, good evening and thanks for joining. So in the next attack, we are discussing about SQL injection attack. So this is one of the OS top 10 category of the attack, nothing but application category. So couple of interviews, we can expect what is SQL injection attack, what is cross-site scripting attack, and also what are the mitigation steps for the SQL injection attack and cross-site scripting attack. It is one of the favorite interview question also, right? So whenever any SQL injection attack, any or any cross-site scripting attack, or any OS top 10 category of the attacks, nothing but application layer number seven attacks are coming to the SIM tool, how can you do investigation? So these attacks, first of all, mitigation steps, we will not take care. Why? Because so we have to coordinate with different stakeholders. So who is the stakeholders for the application layer number seven attacks? Anyone? Who is the stakeholders or whom we have to coordinate for the application layer number seven attacks to mitigate? Anyone? For mitigating the layer seven attacks or application layer attacks, whom we have to coordinate? Whether will you will you go and will you fix the bug or issue, whatever it is. Development team. Perfect. It's a development team. So we have to coordinate with our application development team. Okay, our product development team. Most of the cases, application development team, because these are all part of application category of the attacks. What is our role is? So just we have to go on to we have to see uh, whether it is a false positive and true positive. And after gathering the information, just we have to raise a separate ticket with the respective vendor, not sorry, not vendor. So we have to raise a separate ticket to the respect application development team, stating that input validation may be wrong. Or maybe whatever you have did the development, you have to fix that particular bug or issue. So example, we have seen a couple of previously attacks, example, phishing email attack, or ransomware attack, or malware attack, or brute force attack, or VPN authentication failure category of the attacks. Whenever any malicious IP, or malicious domain, or malicious URL link, or malicious hash value, or malicious script, directly we can go to EDR tool, or proxy, or DNS server, or maybe, okay, so firewall. Okay, so then directly we can go and we can block it as a mitigation, but here, we don't know the development backend and also programming languages. So that is the reason. So we have to go and we have to speak with the respect to application development team. So what is our role? So we have to classify the incident as a pulse past and true positive. We have to gather the triaging of the information. We have to provide the recommendations. Then finally, we have to provide the logs as well. Then we have to raise a separate ticket to the respect to application development team. So that is what we have to do it. Okay. So SQL injection attack are all OS top 10 category of the attacks are similar concept. So I will discuss about SQL injection attack. It's a very popular one. Attacker will inject untrusted SQL queries wherever input validation is required. So example, so username, password, login button, comments, like, share, all these fields, wherever user is providing the input. So finally, backend server attacker will get compromised. So that is called SQL injection attack. Okay. So to mitigate this SQL injection attack, obviously we have to use. So input validation at the time of development itself, we have to write a proper queries without any malicious content is there. And also we should not, we should not accept. So wrong queries or bug related queries. So second thing is we have to implement web application firewall and we have to create a policy related to SQL injection attack. So example, we have seen one of the policy in the part of Portinet firewall under web policy, not web policy, web security profile. So next generation firewall also has a capability of basic preventive mechanism of OS top 10 category. So we have seen a couple of example like a SQL injection attack, okay, null attack, buffer overflow, cross-site scripting attack, CSRF extended as well as basic. Okay, so this is the security profile we have seen. It's a part of Portinet. So Portinet firewall or normal gen next generation firewall will not do the full-fledged capability like a dedicated web application firewall to prevent and to identify, to block the OS top 10 category.
whose dedicated firewall. Okay, okay, okay. So we have to use a dedicated. Oh gosh. Yeah, we have to use a dedicated web application firewall to prevent OS top ten category of the attacks. Okay. So coming back now. So as I said, in so SQL injection attack will come under injection ply attack. It's one of the category, right? So SQL injection, it's a part of injection ply attack. So what are the different types of injection ply attacks we discussed other than SQL? What are the different types of injection ply attacks we discussed? Cross-site scripting attack? No, no, no. Under injection flaw, under injection flaw, under not OS top 10 category. Under injection ply attack, what are the different categories of the attacks we discussed? What are the queries attacker will inject? Other than SQL. So do you think that only injection ply attack, it's a part of SQL injection attack will occur? There is there are no other attacks are there part of injection ply attack? What are the other injection ply attacks we have other than SQL? And Anyone? What are the other injection ply attack other than SQL? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Other than okay, SQL injection ply attack, is there any other injection ply attacks you will occur? It's one of the popular interior question I told you, right? If If I ask what is LDAP injection attack, what will you say the answer? So we have different types of injection ply attacks. One is SQL injection, second one is LDAP injection, third one is HTML injection, fourth one JavaScript injection, OS injection, PHP queries injection. All these are different types of injection ply attacks, guys. Okay, so not only just SQL injection. SQL injection is very, very popular. Why? Because most of our backend servers are belongs to either SQL database or MySQL database from Microsoft or PostgreSQL database or GridGain or Couchbase or Cassandra or MangoDB and so on. All these will work part of SQL queries. So that's why SQL queries is very famous as compared to other injection ply attacks. Is it clear or not? What are the other injection ply attacks we have? LDAP, OS, HTML, JavaScript, PHP, Java, and so on. So these are all the different types of injection ply attacks. Whatever different types of programming languages, application developers, or product developers they will use, all those part of injection ply attack only. Okay. So coming back now, what are the different types of log sources for any OS top 10 category or dedicated to SQL injection attack? So web application firewall, obviously, because it will prevent and it will detect, it will identify. So OSP top 10 category. So SQL injection is one of the category of the OSP top 10. So WAP is absolutely one of the tool to identify, to prevent, to block. What are the detection methods for WAP? WAP, sorry, WAP. What are the signature detection based. methods? Only signature based? M I and A. Machine yes. learning. Yes, machine learning and artificial intelligence also, you are right. Okay, recently only ML and AA, they introduced in the web as well. Okay. Next one is backend database server. Obviously, for SQL injection attack, backend server also will get compromised. So in this scenario, SQL is a database. Next one is application logs. What are applications end user is trying to access? So those logs also we have to integrate. Next one is app server. So nothing but wherever we hosted the application. So that app server. And finally, app server also called as web server. Very, very popular web server or app, I mean app server. Anyone? Very, very popular app server or web server. Apache Tomcat. Yes, perfect. Apache Tomcat. That's correct. Very popular app server or web server, Apache or Tomcat. So these this is one of the very, very popular tools. Okay. Now coming back. 
So WAF is what is the log integration methods, guys? WAF, Web Application Firewall. Web Application Firewall. What is the log integration method? API token. API token. If it is SaaS based application, API token. If it is, yes. if it is on premise. Yes. Yeah, both API token as well as syslog. If it is on premise, physical or okay, so hardware device module. If it is syslog. If it is SaaS based application, example, Amazon WAF or Azure Web Application Firewall or Azure Application Gateway or Imparva or Barracuda or Akamai, okay, or FI. If it is a cloud based one, it is API token. And all these vendors, they are supporting even hardware module as a deployment also. In that scenario, syslog. So, WAF logs we can integrate combination of both API token management method, if it is SaaS based application, or if it is a hardware module, we will use syslog. What is backend database server? Backend database server. How can we integrate backend database server logs to SIM tool? Syslog. Syslog is one method and one more, all servers. One is syslog, you are right? Collector, collector agent. Perfect, collector agent. So application logs, application logs, application API logs, token. API token and one more. Application server and the current collector agent. Yeah, and also app method. If it is Splunk, app method is there. Okay, yeah, collector agent also. And the backend app server, web server. Collector agent. Collector agent, yes. So these are all the different types of log integration methods. Whenever any attacker or any end user is providing untrusted data as an input or untrusted malicious script using PowerShell or Python or PAL, HTML, JavaScript, PHP, or any other okay, programming languages like C, C, Java, okay, so ASP.NET, VB.NET, C sharp, and so on. In that scenario, these logs it will go to the log collector, it will complete the normalization aggregation parsing, those logs, it will send it to the log manager. Log manager will con complete indexing, querying and filtering part. Finally, log manager or log processor has CRE engine, correlation rule engine for the all OS top 10 category of the attacks. Finally, front end of the SAM tool, it will generate OS top 10 category of the attacks. Example, SQL injection or cross site scripting, CSRF, broken authentication, broken access controls, man in the middle attack, one click, click jacking. Okay, so SSRF attack, insufficient logging and monitoring, cryptographic failures, insecure design. Okay, all those will fall under OS top 10 category. Once those alerts will come, so as a security analyst, so what are the different types of instant investigation you will do? So just you can start it now. First step, first step. Alert the ticket or sorry. Yeah, so same as it is. For all these category updated, first steps are same as it is. So alert or instant or offenses will come through email notification or SIM dashboard. So assign the ticket or instant to myself from the all the queues. After that, I will acknowledge the email to the other team members so that I am working on so and so ticket. So other people also will be aware of. After that, I will go and I'll create a ticket in the ticketing tool. And after that, I will classify the instant as a. So what you will classify now? What we are discussing now? OS. OS top 10. Under that OS top 10, what is the category? The SQL in the SQL SQL index. Yes. index. Right. For every category, we will write a correlation rule and it will hit that particular logic. And finally, alert will be generated. So gather the triage of the incident. So what are the different types of triaging of the information we'll identify? Same as it is. So we will gather IOC and IOA, all these. So IP address, username, computer name, okay, MAC address, location. Log sources are what are the log sources, guys? What are the log sources for web this? Web application firewall. 
yes web database server all the applications all the application server or web servers all these so now event timestamp payload so other than this one any other additional information we have to gather for up os top 10 category other than this one whether file will be come into picture now file file size file name file type file category no sir no perfect so then what additional information we have to gather which type of injection like co java or sql is entering yeah first one is application name application name so example www.example.com okay so nothing but which application attacker or end user is injected untrusted sql queries okay that is application name also we can see next one is what else what else we can see back and database server so database server so example sql or ms sql or pg sql what is pg sql means postgres postgres yeah so database server information we can see okay so what additional information authentication now so web or eng fw sql injection action so what is the status we will see now if it is true false to yes it is not blocked if it is false false to blocked yeah so we can say allow or deny so deny also call is a block so here also we can see two types one is a false positive and true positive false positive meaning here what is the action we can see false positive meaning deny yes so what about the true positive hello yes correct so this is the way okay so we can gather the information related to application name back and database server even what is the action in the respective web application firewall or next generation firewall okay so now attacker ip address what is the attacker ip address here what is my attacker ip address here anyone so if it is attacker is injecting we can see the attacker ip address so in case end user is trying to access the application that application ip address okay so next one is country location and domain name so domain name is not applicable anyway application name we given already www.example.com so this is the application either end user or external attacker is injected malicious scripts okay now option 1 what is option 1 what is option 1 false positive yeah false positive so in this scenario what will you do in this scenario what will you do false positive i'll block the domain false positive already right it's a false positive right, already yeah. tool is blocked already we'll submit the proof and yes i will attach the evidence from which tool web logs or next generation Network. firewall logs Network. yeah so after that i will after that what will you do i will make a summary of the report i will update the comments i will close the incident okay now is it true positive now so now i have one query for sql injection attack said whether back end server will get compromised or client machine will get compromised back end server back end server that's correct answer server else. server server will get compromised okay but what a cross site scripting attack 
cross site scripting attack with server side attack or client side attack client side attack or server side attack cross site scripting it is client sir command and gun unintentional game yeah it's a both sql injection or any injection ply attack it's a back end server side attack and also cross site scripting attack it's a combination of both we have seen reflector cross site scripting attack reflector means client side stored stored means server side dom based one second server side what about csrf attack csrf attack cross site request forgery server side or client side forgery server side both so we have ssrf server side attack and also we have client side also both only injection ply attack it's appear back end server guys so true positive now if it is a true positive what will you do what will you do if it is a true positive what will you do i'll contact the server team first okay uh, check the whether the backup is available or not excellent i will contact the back end server team sir which which back end server team back end database server team database yes database server team is there any backup server is available you will ask couple of questions right database server team and i'll ask couple of questions so what are those questions guys high availability high availability is one thing number of accessing users number of number of number users of, is accessing the applications number of users is going to impact okay backup. third one technical applications sir yes so are they taking regular backup or not what else are there any critical applications running yes obviously application is running on that's why this attack is occurred so anyway we have to confirm are there any critical applications are running on so based on this one with the coordination of database team we have to do the containment we have to think about already okay ready made server is available okay we have to do the importing of the backup configuration better we can create a new server like a ransomware attack we discussed so ransomware attack also we have to format the entire system or already ready made server is available what are backup they are taking we have to import and we have to bring it back okay and also we have to change the password okay so then we have to rerun the antivirus scans possible okay so these are all the couple of actions we have to take finally one more thing we have to do other than contacting database team what else we have to do so one is database team we have to contact and then all we have to all uh, we have to ask all these okay so example s yes. 1000 example yes yes so based on this information based on database server confirmation with the help of database team we will take containment we will we will clean infection and we will bring it back to high availability along with this one what additional information we have to do okay change the passwords make sure that by contacting db team uh, reset the passwords okay so this one of the information we have to do better we can do the vulnerability scans as well rerun the antivirus or vulnerability scans still is there one vulnerabilities existing one more thing we have to do other than these things this is a regular process only example server got compromised by malware server got compromised by ransomware attack so this is common other than this one we have to do one more thing what is we that have, anyone we have to conduct the 
application development team to find the bug perfect answer excellent so we have to raise a separate ticket to application development team okay so why input validation is wrong so wherever they developed the application okay so wherever they provided the application sql queries in the repos or libraries or packages in the program so wherever input mismatch or input validation is wrong so they have to fix that particular bug application development team they will call it is a bug product development team they will call it a bug what about windows team and linux team devops team security team what we will call it as bug another name what is bug another name vulnerability yeah. vulnerability vulnerability or weakness or problem or issue or incident okay application developers or product developers they will call it as a bug so but our other teams they will call it as a either vulnerability or weakness or problem or issue or incident and so on okay that is the only difference terminology while it is little bit different so i will raise a ticket to application development team to fix the sql injection wherever input validation development they have developed wrong okay so what are code they developed so as input validation they have to fix that particular issue so that may be using parameterized queries they have to implement our content security policies they have to implement our http authentication course they have to implement get request port request http request and http response okay this is on the application side so once they will fix that particular issue so then we have to once again inform to which team once they will fix the issue now which team they will verify whether Server still team. no oh testing team which testing team penetration testing team perfect perfect answer excellent answer so after application development team is fixing the bug or issue we have to inform to penetration testing team to check whether security issue is still existing as a bug or vulnerability okay after fixing the issue we will inform to sorry we will inform to security testing team nothing but penetration testing testing team to check whether vulnerability or bug still it is existing okay all these things we have to do manually Now all these things we have to do manually. So that's why before any application is going to the release or public, example take WhatsApp. WhatsApp whenever any new feature will come, or Facebook any new feature will come, or Twitter or Instagram or YouTube or Gmail or Yahoo Mail or any other application. First thing is without doing security sign off. When you say security sign off, along with normal functional or feature testing so who will do normal functional feature testing normal functional feature testing development team are you sure it's a development testing, team testing Test team. Yeah, Test testing team. development testing team yeah testing team they will do so example performance testing team or selenium testing team or java testing team or java script script testing team and so on so either manual way or automated way so they will take care of the normal functional feature testing whether whatever application they developed or application feature it is implemented whether it is working or not properly so coming back to us so just like that after completing the normal functional feature testing okay so they should not release to the public without any security sign off when you say security sign off even security team also they have to do vulnerability assessment and pen test that is called vapt 
So they have to run these couple of test against OS top 10. Example, SAS, DAST, penetration testing, validation for all those top 10 category of the attacks. So in case any critical bugs are existing related to OS top 10, then we have to inform to respect to application development team. These are all the vulnerabilities. Uh, these are all the bugs are existing as per the security point of view. When you are going to fix these issues, as per the financial impact wise, from the hacker point of view, attack vector and attack complexity wise, it is easy to hack. Then we have to fix in the current release itself. We should not postpone to the next release. Okay. So after mitigating all these risk assessment and reducing the risk, then only we have to release to the respective feature to public. In such a way, all Facebook and WhatsApp or YouTube or Twitter or Instagram or any other company also, they will release the features to the public. The next day in the newspapers and the communication channels and everywhere we can see so and so feature as implemented by WhatsApp or Facebook, a new feature, you can use it. So this is why I'm saying every time social networking, because everybody is aware of social networking websites. So this is applicable to even our internal applications as well as internet facing application that is available in the ordination level. Example, www.tcs.com or www.tcscarries.com. So this is the way how normally we have to do the overall analysis. Okay. So then finally, what else you will do after fixing these issues? Pen test team is confirmed after that. After that, now yeah. database team. Yes. Next one. Blocking Next the one. IP, sir. Okay, blocking the which IP, IP? attacker IP? Attacker IP. In which tool? In which tool IP firewall, address blocking? Firewall. 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 Yeah. Firewall. So most of the cases here, who will fix the issue? So here fix the issue will be done by respect to application development team. But whatever existing attacks we have seen, so we are blocking, example, IP address blocking, domain blocking, or hash value blocking, or malicious URL blocking, and so on. Because we know other tools as well. But in this scenario, application development, we are not sure how to develop the application, how to create the logic, how to what is the input validation, and what is the parameterized queries, what is my HTTP request and response. So that is the reason we have to dependencies there with other application development team. Okay. So later, later next step. Next step. What is what is the next step? summary yeah root cause analysis i will create a root cause analysis so why the application is got compromised or why backend database is got compromised why application is accepting untrusted data where our input field is required so by speaking with application team we have to make a summary of the report so root cause analysis as well so then i will make a summary of the report Finally, close the event. Yes, I will close the incident. So only one difference for the existing incident investigations here. So here dependency is there with which team application development team. So remaining everything is same as it is. Even for these attacks also, we have dependency is there with the firewall team and the ADR team, but you are aware of firewall and ADR. That is the reason I told you that I will go and I'll block directly instead of contacting and also raising a separate ticket. Okay. So this is the overall process, guys. Any OS top 10 category, same as it is, we have to follow. Contacting application development team. Contacting application development team to fix the bug or issue or problem or incident or maybe so alert. Okay. Take cross site scripting, take injection fly attack, take broken authentication, broken access control, because who is developing the application? Application developers are programmers. So that's all about total overall OSP top 10 category. If it is a cross-site scripting attack, so same as it is, it will come, all these. 
Okay, instead of SQL injection attack, you have to say cross site scripting attack. Now coming back, did you complete these two scenarios as well? DOS and DDoS. Who will explain DOS and DDoS? Who will explain DOS and DDoS? I did not try, sir, due to some uh, I'm occupied, but we okay. can try. Yes. Uh, what exactly will try in this scenario? Yeah. So I will go to the separate sheet. Give me one second. Because already we discussed just how to apply. That's all. So DOS and DDoS. What are the log sources, guys? What are the log sources? What are the log sources for DOS and DDoS? Firewall. Firewall. DOS and first is what is DOS and what is DDoS? Anyone? What is Den DOS and what is DDoS? Denial of service. Denial of service. Okay. Single attacker uh, targeting the single server DOS. Okay. Single attacker, uh, targeting okay. single server DDoS. What is the mitigation? Antidos anti and DDoS applying uh, parallel in the with the ASP router. Okay. Second one. Throttling or rate limit. Okay. Third one. I don't know, sir. Where you will implement throttling? Firewall. firewall. Where you will implement firewall? Only sorry, where you implement throttling? Only in firewall? Only in firewall? Firewall, WAF. WAF and one more. IDS IP is also we can do. Yeah, IDS IPS also, we have to create a DOS policy. Yes. Even server side also, we have to implement throttling. So these are all the couple of things related to DOS attack implement, sorry, mitigations. Now coming back. So what are the log sources now? One is firewall. IDS IPS. IDS IPS. Web application firewall. Web application firewall. Servers. Servers, backend servers. What a server he is trying to put as a record. What is a record? Selection what is record? of the target. Selection of the target. What is full form? Recognizations. Recognizations. Yes. Now, what is log integration method for fire firewall, IDS, IPS, web? Syslog, sir. Syslog. Okay. What about servers? Servers is collector agent. Collector agent method. One more log source is missing. What is that? For WAF, we can use. Uh, yeah, both. Sir, API yeah. token. Yes. API, API token. API. Yeah. One more log source is missing. What is that? Here, one more log source is missing. One more. What is log source? Anti DOS and DDoS. Yes, perfect. Anti DOS and anti DDoS. What is the method for anti DOS and anti DDoS? Log integration method. Syslog, sir. Yes, syslog. Yes. Now we'll collect, okay, using these are the log integration method. Whenever attacker is trying to do either single attack is targeting single server or multiple attackers is targeting single server. So in that particular abnormal or malicious or suspicious activity is happening by flooding of the millions of the requests to the target or selection of the machine. In that scenario, these logs, it will use log integration methods and log collector will complete the normalization, aggregation, parsing. So log process will complete indexing, querying and filtering. And one of the correlation rule we will create related to DOS and DDoS. Finally, front end of the 
sim tool alert will be generated as a l1 l2 l3 team we will take care of the instant analysis okay now whether false first option is possible here no chance sir hmm? no chance why because already it is deny of service hmm. so if it is deny of service how we can if it is activate only we'll say it now sir no anti dos okay, blocks yeah we can do that yeah if yes that's is what block action yes. is block then it is okay yes correct option 1 false positive option 2 true positive so first we can discuss option 1 false positive so same things it will repeat guys there is no change at all so instead of log sources name we, we will take everything here so couple of things we have to change what is that anyone log source log source what is log source here web application so all this yeah instant host so and what is ip address example here one dot sorry 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1 yeah username or is it something else admin admin right if it is linux server root root yes okay so that username of the admin here computer name or host name or server name server name we can put computer name also so example can you give one of the server name example one of the application server database server or file server can you give one of the example name oracle database okay so oracle rhel db.com example tcs company maybe tcs.com for ed identification for mac address location and so on log sources payload application name is not required so server already we provided here so now so what is the here firewall action or ips action or wap action or anti dos and anti ddos now which which scenario we are discussing now false positive so what is the action now here no block block or deny, deny. yes okay so now indicator of compromise attacker ip address which ip address attacker is trying to do the attack so ip address that we are doing for dos yes so if it is uh, ddos mean anti dos ddos means here only single Mal ip or multiple? multiple ips perfect so the, here i'll put here itself i'll change that one give me one second see if i put dos here i put ddos here multiple ips so location is look example usc or something else whatever you will identify so then finally what you will do after putting the action already you have seen block or deny same okay evidences evidences so which which are the log source web extension firewall what else? ids ips and IP. anti ddos ddos yes ips anti ddos and anti ddos okay so then i will make a summary of the report finally i will close the incident One second, guys. One second. Huh? One only one second. Give me one second.
sorry guys okay fine <laughs> yeah so that is about the false positive net then true positive so everything is same as it is so what is the additional thing you will see here which one you have to change action sir the action what the action here hello yes hello so next one so we'll gather all these next one next, next one. immediately we have to take the high availability sir because the server is already out of service yes so already denial of service is available we have to speak with our respective server team and so whatever backup server is there we have to make it is a primary server so first of all whether automatic connectivity is happened or not the primary is disconnected or primary is got compromised so i will contact server owner and we'll ask below information and also immediately will make backup server as a primary server to continue to continue what to continue service yes service or business operations yes continuous service or business operations without any without any without any denial of service without any outage outage yeah yeah okay so we have to contact the server owner and we have to inform them and finally we have to make a backup server as a primary server and we have to continue the business operations without any business disruptions or business outage or outage related to end users as an availability issue as per ca triad okay now so next step whatever server is got compromised you already done the containment i will do containment already it's out of service so containment already anyway we have to do containment also then what else what else you will do we have to make it to the normal state again yeah so possible change the static ip whatever we assign to the server okay understood or not understood or not yes sir so maybe example now server ip address is 10.10.10.1 so maybe attacker once again he will okay so he, he, sorry yeah so attacker once again he knows about the ip address instead of that one we can change that ip address of this server okay so always for servers whether we will assign static ip or dynamic ip for servers always static sir static yes, yes always static so change the server ip address to new address then what else what else you will do compromised and, already and we can change ip will change with the completely normal state we'll yes be. yeah will be, that is okay recovery phase mitigation container we have to block it yes right block the malicious attacker ip address block the malicious attacker ip address in firewall in the firewall which tab we will go and we will block ip address in the firewall policies yes policy. yes so then finally bring it back to normal operations make a summary and root cause root cause report normal operations meaning here what is mean normal operations here high availability so we have to bring it back to normal operations meaning here so high availability so 
so before going to this one and also see is there any data copied by hacker before doing the compromise so next one make a summary and finally create a root cause analysis document so that is about and close the incident so that is about dos and ddos sir yeah i have a common doubt like uh, mm whenever we are getting true positive mm it is a scenario where our correlation engine is failing not correlation rule engine is failing based on the whatever tools policies we configured in the respect to tools yeah but if the attack if the interviewer asks us okay you have okay. done all this mm -hmm. so in oh, it will be a level 3 work he will be taking care of this yes okay they have to re re write a correlation rule immediately for this right no correlation rule already hitting and then only okay so alert is generating right Okay, in policies we did not uh, act with the rules. Yeah, exactly. Okay. In our antivirus or EDR or IPS or maybe patch update issues or maybe WAF or firewall policies, we did not configure properly. That's it's bypassed. Okay. Yeah. So nothing but why it will get compromised? Any attack? Obviously, some loophole is there. Some vulnerability is existing. May misconfiguration of the rules. okay so one of the even os top 10 category is security misconfiguration a7 application layer number 7 is belongs to misconfiguring the web policies so maybe server side patch updates are not doing properly or maybe defense in depth controls are not existing properly every organization doesn't mean that they have budget is available and also they will purchase all the tools if it is a startup company do you think that all the tools they will purchase no No. They'll purchase dedicated EDR and firewalls. That's all. They'll not purchase DLP. They'll not purchase encryption because everything it's very expensive solutions. Okay. So in case defense in depth control is failing and we are not following and patch updates are not happening and vulnerabilities are exist existing, then attacker will do exploiting those vulnerabilities. Okay. That's why it will get compromised. and as i said very rare cases only we will receive these incident as i said out of 100% maybe 1% or 0.5% only rare cases we will receive because security is very important obviously we will make sure that all the security policies is configured correctly or not all the antivirus edr dlp encryption so firewall proxy ids ips next generation firewalls hardening benchmark compliances everything is implemented or not okay so that's a very rare cases these attacks will appear is it clear yes sir yes sir clear yeah now i'll pinpoint okay so maybe one or two guys they have to explain about last scenario i'll pinpoint one or two candidates akil akil uh, yes sir can you explain ninth scenario first you can say so whether it is a false positive or true positive so will you work on the false positive scenario or true positive scenario so what are the log sources for this scenario okay so how can you mitigate could you please okay okay sir yeah so first of all whether it is a false positive or true positive true positive sir why it is true positive so it is got already compromised yes perfect it is already got compromised in the attack itself one of the system that may be laptop or server got compromised and keep on contacting or communicating to command and control server who will maintain command and control server who will maintain command and control server 
who will maintain command and control server in your or in your home who will operate remote control to control your television or tv I, I uh, are you getting uh, yes. what i'm saying yes so who who will operate command and control server is the attacker or is it internal organization organization internal internal organization are you sure so, so no no sir attacker yeah attacker will use command and control controlling of something okay so in this year what okay. information will gather what are the log sources what are the log sources here What are log sources here? Main log source. Syslog. Not integration method. I am not asking integration method. Okay, sir. EDR, 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 sir. EDR, only EDR. Firewall. Firewall. Next. Next one. Next one, email security, sir. Email gateway. Email gateway. No, e email security. Are you sure? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. So, as you said, one is firewall. Okay, next one. EDR. Okay, next EDR. one. Main thing you are not saying. Not email. Mm -hmm. Maybe if the attack is coming malicious to our link, yes, maybe email gateway also I'll put it. Okay, email gateway. Main use case, which one? Sir, FIM, sir, file etiquette. No. IDS IPS. Yes, IDS IPS. So that is the main first log source. Host level IDS or network level IDS? Host, Host level, level or HIPS, network? HIPS. Are you sure? Most yes, of the sir, network sir. level, network level, this one. Okay. Okay, NAPS, NADS. Yes. Don't get fear. All these are your friends only. Okay. Yes, sir. Fine. Thank you. So, next person name is uh, thanks, Akil. Thank you so much. I really appreciate for that one. Thanks. Ba Baji. Baji, are you there? Yes, sir. Yeah, could you please explain, guy? Ex ex explain this one. What is log integration methods for this one? Log integration methods. IDS IPS. Network IDS network IPS. Network IDS network IPS. Syslog. Syslog. Firewall. Firewall, firewall also six log. EDR. 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 Yes. EDR. Okay. Traditional antivirus. It's on-premise one. Six log. What about SaaS-based EDR? Collector agent. Collector agent. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, Example, take SOFO CDR. SOFO CDR. What is, it, what is the integration method we will use? API token. Yes, the API token. So what about uh, email gateway? Email gateway nowadays, mm -hmm. most of the cases, SaaS based once again. Once again, SaaS based only. API tokens. Yes, API token. So finally, what will happen? Whenever attacker is sending any phishing emails or drive by downloads or is any other malicious activity will happen. So it will collect the logs from these are all the different types of log sources. It will come to normalization, aggregation, parsing. Then it will do indexing and querying and filtering. And correlation rules for IPS correlation rule or IDS correlation rule. <laughs> correlation rules related to C2C communication will create in the 
sim tool final alert will be generated okay thanks baji so next one is uh, baskar baskar ah yes sir so yeah, after that what will you do so it's compromised already so it's a true positive as per akil so after that what will you do first thing what will you do once alert will is received as a security analyst first thing what will you do once alert is received why people are dropping previously 29 are there now it's 25 bavita bavita are you there chandu chandrashekar reddy chandu yeah yes yes sir okay what will you do sir first i will assign the incident myself okay next one using service now okay uh, for that i will acknowledge the okay uh, email to other members okay uh then after that uh, uh next uh, i will uh, classify the incident okay what is the incident classification now uh, or yeah c2c communication yeah to external attacker yes okay uh, next uh, i will do ioc okay in the ioc i will gather uh, mm. ip address okay next one ip address no sir. ip address username uh, mac address uh, okay location and uh, authentication status okay so here what is authentication here as per network ids or ips or maybe firewall Firewalls, proxy servers, EDR. What is the status here? What is block. status here? Block. Block. Are you sure? If it is block, means why it is got compromised? No. It's... Why it is got compromised? If it is block, means it's a false positive or true positive? Yeah, it's a true positive. It's already allowed. Yes. Yeah. Allow or deny? What is status? Allow. 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 Yes. Allow. Yes. <laughs> yes. okay next indicator of attacker so ip uh, address yes ip address next one location okay country name country and so on okay done later what will you do then after that i will uh, mm. take ip address of okay. that and uh, mm. i will verify okay where uh, where you will verify which tool you will verify in the virus total okay mx tool <laughs> okay i use this database virus by that time your infection will go to other machines also right using yes, lateral yes. movement he will he will do compromise to other systems also yes sir then what will you do before that uh contact the internal employees to okay uh i will drop an email to them or why you will contact the internal employee to what information you will check with internal employee whether internal hr person example hr person system or laptop is got compromised whether hr team is aware of okay what he has done whether she or he knows about what is command and control server whether he or she knows about why system is got compromised if it is a password based yes we'll ask did you try more than three attempts or four attempts okay why you will contact in this scenario to internal employee what will you do so it's an end user system so okay 
it is an end user system means uh -huh. um, i will uh, check the firewalls you will check the i will i will check the firewall sir firewalls okay what is instant life cycle management process chandu what is instant life cycle management process oh, how many steps are there i think uh, five okay what are those five steps oh, five are you sure no no sir I... can you explain those steps sir six sir okay what Total are those six, six? um uh, first preparation okay uh, next mm, preparation uh, eradication mitigation okay uh, i think command and command and control no 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 preparation eradication mitigation Oh. Transport or preparation, delivery. eradication, mitigation directly. Okay, that's fine. I'm not blaming in front of everybody. Don't think in negative way. Okay, think in past this way. Is... Where you where you are yourself. Okay, almost class are going to finish within maybe six to seven classes maximum. Yes. So yes. think about yourself where you are. Not only for just Chandu. already couple of people are taking coaching more than one year so they prepared they completed entire book for more than 10 times still they are not able to answer okay so think about yourself think about your knowledge where you are okay in this way if you are going or are able to crack the interview or not why only four or five people are responding back in the class example kranti sri vidya okay nayami pasha mahesh only these are four or five people are responding back okay i can say there are two types of people will be there one is introvert and second one extrovert so at least i given a chance to write a document and send it to me why only kranti mahesh and also shri vidya send it back to me what about others one more guy i think i forgot his name only four people responded back for ransomware attack server got compromised what about others okay you are in, okay you are introvert you are not able to speak in front of everybody in the class that's okay can't you write in the document i mean in the page and can't you respond it back to me here itself you are not able to give the answer tomorrow you are going for the interview so you will have to open the video connectivity okay and you are in the excitement mode and also you will be completely in the tension mode how can you respond back whenever custom i mean interview will ask the questions don't think only technical will survive in the interview point of view guys your dare courage our english communication skills also entire software industry is working on only two concepts one is only 30% are technical skills remaining 70% completely your communication skills how much dare and how much courage you have how much risk you are taking even if you are doing blunder mistakes also you have to say yes i have done mistake in future i will rectify do you have that much dare so most of the people will think okay so i i they don't think about okay so my english communication is good or not okay so they'll blame okay so always sir sir did not teach properly you are analyzing yourself are you able to express any and whenever any scenario is coming sir did not teach this one sir did not teach that one maybe out of 10 questions maybe one question is missing what about remaining nine questions it is coming within the syllabus analyze yourself almost two months you spent number 13th we gave, i given demo within 5 minutes we are going to complete okay so 60 days you have to work on even english also guys why i am saying always english 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 because you are not able to express yourself guys 
so many people came back due to english communication skills so many people even 15 lakhs 20 lakhs packages people also they are not able to survive because of the lacking of communication skills they are peering in front of every meeting at least i am not saying you should be like a shashi tharoor or maybe okay so us english or uk english and so on you should be at least manageable or basic or maybe advanced not like expert guys you should understand what the opposite person is speaking first of all you should you don't know about what the opposite person is speaking how can you give the answer if the opposite person is speaking whatever not you will understand you can ask three or four times that is what if you are going for microsoft inter and google inter they will say ask back ask back ask back ask back gather the requirement then only you can give the answer that is the google and the apple and microsoft facebook second round of the interview that is what they will give the instructions do you think that always interview is right why do you think always interview is right so i am not a rude and aggressive this is for good purpose only i am saying guys you are taking in positive that is good for you if you are taking negative i can't do anything whoever is doing hard work only those people are surviving think logical don't mug up anything please it's not like a passing for the all these concept we studied in engineering also example computer networks that time just for marks percentage 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 it will not work out if you are in the in this way even after getting the job also whatever theoretical we are discussing we have to always map with practical sessions so within one year time period almost 150 people are selected why only couple of people are very shined why can't other people because whoever english communication is good is there and also logically thinking they are correlating our i mean my notes with the practical sessions so once okay you are getting the job that's all so they will stop studying the notes as i said wherever you will go whatever you will do so these basics are basics only guys yesterday i attended ciso interview so they are asking about what is the difference in symmetric and asymmetric why ciso is required symmetric and asymmetric cryptography technology this is not physical class that is the that is the problem that's why i'm not giving any motivation if it's a physical class with classroom training i used to give 10 minutes even motivation sessions as well and who is sleeping in the class i can know and who is watching and who is reading and who is writing everything i can see but online classes unfortunately i not i'm not able to do all these things okay so that's fine okay so we will continue and we'll complete it so if it is false if it is a true pass to related end your system so coming back to chandu so preparation identification containment eradication or mitigation recovery lessons learned why are you saying command and control cyber kill cyber kill chain process here whether any command and control phase is there in the incident life cycle management process no 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 sir yeah so already got compromised we discussed the part of malware investigation same steps it will repeat guys already these investigations are completed so same thing applicable to here also that's why given okay so these two things to you same as it is here so this is one thing attack with the true past to same as it is these are the steps will come instead of edr it will come as ips okay so they, then once again same thing this is this is also same as it is copy paste so we have to see is there any even firewall logs also we have to validate is there any lateral movement is happened okay so please complete those steps i will ask once again tomorrow 
I will pinpoint. So remaining what are two parts to this is pending. It's not completed yet. One is laptop, one is server. Server got compromised, and laptop is got compromised, and it is reaching to command and control. Already completed off. Remaining off you can complete. Remaining off you can complete. Is it clear or not? Yes, sir. Clear. Yes, sir. Okay. Coming back now. So, couple of people shared inter equations. So tomorrow maybe I will take two hour session. So to discuss about existing inter equations. Okay. So those questions we can discuss. So before maybe Pongal, I think twelfth or thirteenth. So next week you can put your resume. Next week you are, you can put your resume. So as I said, you can come to either Satupalli or Kamam or maybe Hyderabad. Okay, so I can support from anywhere, wherever you are. So and also a couple of people are there in the Vizag location. I think uh, Peter, Prakash, who else? So my notes is more than sufficient to crack the interview. You are able to understand everything. Okay, classes are going to complete by maximum next Wednesday. So tomorrow and day after tomorrow, I'll complete the inter equations. So cloud basics, I have to give one of the class for one hour session. What is cloud? What is IAS, PaaS, SaaS? And main is around, it's okay. Main is around questions anyway, it's a part of. And some of the common behavioral based Okay, so if you're entering the software industry, what exactly couple of things you have to follow? It's a behavioral based. Okay, behavioral based related to person. So those things I will discuss. Couple of people already know. Example, Mahesh Kranti, all these people, they are working people though, you know already. But couple of people is not aware of all these things. Those things also we will discuss. Okay, so next one, I think, uh, yeah. Uh, Sock side uh, shift to handover is pending. Also, instant tracker is pending. So, these two things also will complete. Okay. And also, finally, one of the person whoever is confident. So, those people, maybe Krant, you can give your details to me. In front of everybody, I can create your knockery profile. Is it fine? Yeah, yeah, sure. No issues. Just you can make your resume to me and you can share your. Gmail username and password to me. Sure. And I can show how to create Nokari profile. Yeah. Thank you. So that's all for today evening, guys. We'll continue tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. Thank sir. you, sir. See, don't think I'm arrogant and rude. Think in positive way, guys. So I'm caring you guys. That is, you can think in, in such a way. Okay, guys, thank you so much and good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thanks. Sir? Yes, please. Uh, just a personal question. Uh, yeah. In 2012 or 13, the cybersecurity is in usage? Yes, it like is. EDR tools, something like that? No, 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 no. EDR is not there. Only antivirus. Only antivirus. And yes. fi firewalls. Firewalls, yes. But not next generation firewalls, right? Not next generation firewalls. 2013 next generation firewall came into picture. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just to put in my resume is so that I will be careful. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Thank you. Sir, pressure resume, sir. Yeah. I, I will upload, Mastan. I will upload. Yeah. Oh, okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Good night.